fate had many plans for everyone in the lands between. But some fates ended worse than others. And there was none more horrific than that of what happened to Godwin the Golden, as the first demigod to be slaughtered and many to come after. And this is the story of the sad nature of what happened to Godwin the Golden, now known as the Prince of Death. To understand Godwin and his story, we first need to establish who was Godwin and why was he so important and try to answer why Godwin the Golden was chosen for this assassination as this story is deeply tied to Ronnie and the Knight of the Black Knives and the events of her trying to sever her ties to the greater will and the two fingers. So to start the story off, we first need to go to the remembrance of the Black Blade. And it says, Malekith was a shadow bound beast given to his Empyrean. America's sole need for her shadow was a vessel to lock away destined death. Destined death is also known as death indiscriminate, a cycle in nature. Just the fabric of death in reality. She took it out of reality and stored it within her shadow's blade, known as the Black Blade. And we also need to speak of Ronnie the Witch. Ronnie was getting tired of the Greater Will and the Two Fingers, and she wanted to shed herself of their influence and to do this, she had a plan to steal the Rune of Death from this blade that Malekith wielded. And she tells her plan to the Tarnish during her questline. Wilt thou enter into my service? I am the Witch Rani. I stole death long ago and search now for the dark path that I might one day upend the whole of it and rid the world of all that came before. Well, has that roused thy interest? So she is responsible for the Knight of the Black Knives. She is the one that stole a fragment of the rune and imbued the assassins with the power of death to kill another god. But the question is, was Godwin the intended target? Let's take a look at Godwin and a few things we found that can give us an idea to see if he was an intended target or was he collateral damage. Where I was able to find the most information about Godwin, we first need to go to Lindell and right in the middle of Lindell for all of the city to see this giant statue-like figure of a dragon. And this statue is not a statue. It is Grand Sax himself as they were like stone when they were living. And if you climb up the bolt, the weapon of Grand Sax, you will find his bolt and you will be able to read a great ancient dragon. Grand Sax once rained calamity upon the royal capital. The only time in historical record that Lindell's walls have fallen. This marked the dawn of a war against the ancient dragons. It is this war against the ancient dragons to which I was able to find the most information about Godwin as he was present during this war on the behalf of Lindell and the Golden Order. And then I want to get into the next item, the Lanciax Glaive. Lanciax was the sister 
of Fortisex. It is said that she took the form of a human to commune with the knights as a priestess of the ancient dragon cult. So, just reading this, although this directly has nothing to do with Godwin, it does let me know that these dragons are able to communicate with people. If not, they can actually turn into human form to communicate. Now, whether this is just Lanciax herself, or can all dragons do this, nonetheless, they are able to communicate with other beings outside of dragons. And also saying that she was the sister of Fortisax. So, going into the next item beyond that is the Fortisex Lightning Spears. And it reads, During the War of the Ancient Dragons, these twin red stakes of lightning were the hallmark of one of the ancient dragons who was called the Mightiest Boulder Stone. Which we also know him as Lich Dragon Fortisex. He was one of the mightiest and very unique as he was able to wield this red lightning. He was a very, very powerful dragon, a very powerful foe to run across in the battlefield. And these lightning spears was probably the last thing a lot of warriors in Lindell seen. Going into Fortisax, this is where I wanted to show you this next scene as we find a memorial outside of the capital Lindell to show you the relationship of Fortisax and Godwin. The Rooting of the Ancient Dragons Godwin the Golden fought to the last, earning the friendship of Dread Fortisax. Now this is very big information as Godwin was a very powerful warrior on the behalf of the Golden Order. So much that Lich Dragon Fortisax befriended him out of the respect of being such a powerful foe. The little statement on the memorial is a big indicator on why would Godwin be the one to be murdered or assassinated? So, on the Golden Order's behalf, he fought against the dragons, and even the dragons seen him as such a powerful force. And just remember, on the behalf of the Golden Order, he's even respected by the most powerful dragons. So, this is... A being that if you are trying to uproot and get rid of the Golden Order, this is probably a being that you need out of your way to become the next Elden Lord, as you probably do not want to run into him on the field of battle. And this makes him a primary target for Ronnie the Witch. The Remembrance of the Lich Dragon says... After Godwin the Golden became the Prince of Death, the ancient dragon fought long and hard against death within its companion. Alas, victory was never achieved, and its only reward was corruption. Though so he also was such good friends and ally with the Lich Dragon Fortisax, that Fortisax, after seeing his state, tried to fight death within and ultimately lost tried to help a friend and fought so long and hard ultimately became corrupted and joined godwin in the prince of death as part of death and its spread and also the finger reader that we see in the deeper depths was very depressed, very sad to see the state to which Godwin had become. Oh, Lord Godwin. Oh, my poor sweet Lord 
Godling should have died a true death. A scion of the Golden Bow, sentenced to live in death. How could such a thing come to be? Oh. And the Golden Epitaph also says, a sword made to commemorate the death of Godwin the Golden, first of the demigods to die, infused with the humble prayer of a young boy, O oh brother, Lord brother, please die a true death. With what the finger reader and the golden epitaph showing that people felt a great loss when Godwin dies. It took a lot away from the Golden Order and ultimately is possibly responsible for the shattering as it probably led Queen Merica to look into what exactly is going on with the Golden Order if it's so perfect. Why did Godwin die? This is the Mending Rune of the Death Prince, which is made by Fia laying beside Godwin, the Prince of Death, long after his death, after he was killed on the Night of the Black Knives. One half of this was found with Fia laying next to him, and the other half with Ronnie's body in the Divine Tower of Liernia. Now, what this means is the two halves, one representing the body, the other representing the soul. What happened was during the Night of the Black Knives, Ronnie imbued the Black Knives and gave to assassins so that they could carry out an assassination and carve the Mending Rune of Death. What ended up happening was only half showed up in the back of Godwin. And when you read into the half rune that is found atop the tower with Ronnie, she also had one but the other half. So ultimately, what ended up happening was she needed rid of her flesh to get rid of the Golden Order's influence over her physical body. So simultaneously, the way she planned everything out was to have one of the gods killed and most likely targeting the strong one you probably had no chance of winning against, especially considering the allies that we just spoke of, probably needed Godwin out of her way. And this was one way of doing it while also getting rid of her flesh and transferring her soul into a doll so now she is free to go after her own goals of becoming Elden Lord and creating the way of the stars. What this ended up doing was leaving Godwin's body as a soulless husk that ended up transforming over time. He was placed at the roots of the Erd Tree, and although his body is alive, his soul is not intact. So there is still something living there, and I think her goal was to get rid of him, but what ended up happening, which hopefully later in a DLC, this would be an awesome DLC. But instead of getting rid of one of the most powerful for the Golden Order, may have created something even worse to deal with down the road. This is why I think she specifically targeted him. I don't think he was by, by random chance, by no means. Nothing in From Software is ever, you know, just coincidence but there is always room for speculation and that's again i'll say it in every video man. that's why i love 
from soft games. That's Elden Ring is just one of the better ones. And of all the characters, I feel like Godwin becoming the Prince of Death, considering how loved and cherished he was, was probably the most undeserving as he and Ronnie are polar opposites of the spectrum. He fought for the Golden Order and was loved, cherished, and created allies as to where she wanted to uproot it all and get rid of it entirely and create something new as to where he fought for it, trying to keep it intact. This is why I don't think Godwin was no mere accident he was very specifically targeted because he was so loved that it is said that Queen America was on the brink of losing it. Ultimately caused the shattering and I think without this happening to Godwin, I don't think the shattering would have ever happened. I think this was very calculated to happen exactly the way it did. This is why I think Everything was very calculated. I don't think she gave the Black Knives to the assassins and just let whatever happen. I do believe this was very specifically calculated because of just how powerful and loved he was. So, And I want to hear what you guys think, man. Are y'all in line with this? Does it make sense? Or is there a piece of the story I overlook, man? Let me know down in the comments and I'll take a second look at this. So, anyways, uh, there should be some more Elden Ring content coming in the meantime while I am constantly just counting down the days waiting on the Dead Space remake to come in. So y'all stay tuned for that. And if y'all like the content, just... Show the channel some love, like and subscribe, it helps the channel out tremendously just by doing that, and I hope to see you on the next one.